You know, there's some people that show up on the contender, and when you see their fights, you just know that this man is a definite shoe in for a UFC contract. And AJ Dobson was one of those people. He came to the apex with UFC Hall of Famer Mark Coleman in his corner and put on quite the display. He took his opponent, Hashim Arkaga, knocked him down, took him down, and eventually subbed him. And it was a beautiful display that, as I say, Dana White had no question, signed him right then and there on the spot. Now, he'll be back in action on the 12th of February, where he takes an Australian standout, Jacob Malkoon, who was last seen putting on quite the beat down against Abdul Razak Al-Hassan. An incredible matchup. I can't wait to see this one. But if you missed that matchup from AJ Dobson on the contender, you're going to want to watch this tape. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Head on, let's go. And listen, Mick Maynard said it best before. When you watch Dobson, he comes out in a blaze of glory, man. He does not mess around, but there's that power. Oh, my gosh. Oh. We've had a lot of decisions tonight. I don't think we're going to see one here, guys. I'm drinking a coffee. I don't think I need it anymore. Lightning in a bottle. Both of these guys coming out quick. I mean, when you speak to Dobson, he's just the nicest, most polite, mild-mannered guy. But look at this in the octagon. He is a savage. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. Wow. He's down. Dobson. This is going to be quick. Shamar Kaga has come back from very big knockdowns in past fights. He's able to fight through adversity like this. There's an arm bar there. Yes. He's got that right arm tied up. If he brings the left leg around the face, he could have that. He's looking for it as well. He has a fantastic jujitsu background. He's going to be looking to swivel his hips, spin off. There it is, but Dobson saw it coming. And this is a wild start. Oh, oh nice hammer fist. hammer fist got through. Stay tight. Stay tight, AJ. Don't get too hard. So pass, Just missed with that one. There's a lot of heat coming behind those punches from AJ Dobson. Three wins in a minute or less. Not going to happen here in a minute, but could happen soon. Yeah, and for AJ to start like this against another power puncher, I mean, that just shows the courage on this guy. Because a lot of the time, if you know they knock people out like you do, you got to be careful. you got to be tactical, strategic. Look for the right opening. He was like, no, no, no. This is the way I fight. And he got clipped once or twice, but he still continued going forward. Yeah, you're right. Often that respect turns you into a little bit more of a tentative fighter, more of a counter striker. But neither of these guys, really given much respect to the other. They're both in there throwing. But right now, A.G. Dobson in top side control here. And I'm questioning, though, if he should be letting you know this fight get back to the feet because Hashim Arcaga has a fantastic Brazilian jiu-jitsu background. Both men actually purple belts, but Hashim Arcaga has been a purple belt since 2012. So dark, dark purple uh, for that man there and a champion uh, in jiu-jitsu as well. It's like my brown belt. My brown belt's extremely <laughs> so dark. So it's like, it's like so dark it should be black. <laughs> Never wear a gi. Dobson doing a very nice job of staying in this dominant position, but Arcaga able to re-guard there. Dobson, the former college football player at Lake Erie College, dropped out, picked up mixed martial arts. To your point, Laura, I'd like to see Dobson stand up in the guard and back away. But these are good shots. These are big shots. This looks like this is working out okay for him. And they're getting through as well. And Hashim's talking to his corner. Make your punches cool. Make them land, AJ. Two minutes. Two minutes left to the round. Keep it up. Oh, 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 Arcada's just flailing at this point. He's in a bad spot. He's in a very bad spot. He's wiping his eye, clearly injured, and doesn't have all his wits about him. But being here on the ground is going to allow him a chance to recover, but not when AJ Dobson is landing yeah. these punches like this. Well, this is about to be stopped for a second now because my bell jumps taking a close look. Don't do it, AJ. No. Don't go. <laughs> Don't do it, AJ. <laughs> He's going for the rear naked choke. Just I agree. fire away. You almost had it done. Keep landing those punches. Yeah. Out of those five wins, one of those coming by rear naked choke. 
And here, Arcaga and, able to, uh, so sorry, Dan, Arcaga able to grab a wrist yeah, and no, exactly. create that situation where he can gather his wits. Yeah, he can recover a little bit. And I just want to point out that we've got the godfather of ground and pound, Mark Coleman, in the corner of AJ Dobson. So shout out Mark Coleman, oh. Hall of Famer. That's deep. That is deep. He's not on the back, he but it doesn't matter. That's it. Wow. It is AJ Dobson what a win. absolutely dominant performance in our feature bout of the night. It was predominantly all the hands. He went forward, and it was kind of a blaze of fury. Both guys just swinging, but by far the better shots and more powerful shots from AJ Dobson. Boom, connecting there with the right hand. That one puts him down. He's wobbled, he's down. AJ follows him, and just, just pure aggression. Just going for it, just emptying the tank, doing everything he could to finish the fight. Hey, listen, fair play to Hashim because he took he took quite the uh, quite the beating there, and in the end, the rear naked choke didn't have the hooks, but at this point, he didn't need them. It's just a formality. He's squeezing there. He's got a lot of power, and he's already taken a lot of shots before that point. And there he is, the Hall of Famer himself, the Godfather of Ground and Pound. Referee Mike Beltran calls a stop to the fight for the winner by submission due to rear naked choke, A.J. Thompson.